Hello everyone, welcome back to Lina's Kitchen. Because Ramadan is around the corner, I decided to share with you the most popular side dishes or salads that you can find it in every Algerian table in Ramadan. Let's get started. First, we will start with Slatam Shuiya or grilled salad. Line up your green pepper in a bake pan. Turn your oven on on the top. Put your pepper in the lower rack. Grill your pepper in your oven and flip it over time to time to avoid burning it. When you notice that the skin separates from the pepper, take your pepper from the oven. Put it in an iron bowl, cover it and let it cool down. Don't forget to poke your eggplant so that it doesn't explode inside your oven. After eggplant and pepper have completely cooled down, peel them off. Remove the skin and the seeds, dice them and set them aside. After peeling them off and dice them, now we will start to cook our slatam shuiya or grilled salad or shleta. In a large pan, put 3 tablespoons of oil, 2 big chopped tomatoes, 1 teaspoon of mashed garlic, 1 teaspoon of paprika, 1 teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of black pepper. Cook your tomato for about 15 minutes. When you notice that your tomato becomes soft, now it's time to add your eggplant and half amount of the pepper that you have grilled it before. Cook this shleta or this salad in a medium high heat for about 15 minutes and to speed up the process, help yourself with a hand masher. After 15 to 20 minutes, my shleta is very well cooked. Take it out from the heat and let it completely cool down. Now it's time to season our second batch of green pepper. I will put one big chopped tomato, three tablespoons of onion, two teaspoons of vinegar, three tablespoons of oil, one teaspoon of salt. I will mix everything well, put it in a fridge, and I will serve it cold. The difference between this salad and shlita, shlita we cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes, and this one we didn't cook it. Now it's time to cook my carrot charmoula. I cooked my carrot one day before you can boil it or steam it. In a medium pan, put two tablespoons of oil, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of mashed garlic, one teaspoon of caraway, and one teaspoon of paprika, and one tablespoon of tomato and red pepper paste. This mixture is a little bit hot, but it's mild, not that much hot. And this touch of hot red pepper paste will cut out the sweetness of carrots. Bring this mixture to boil. After two or three seconds, add a little bit of water. We don't want to burn our garlic, because if you will burn your garlic, you will get a very bad taste in your shermoula. Whenever this mixture starts to boil, add your carrots and let your carrot absorb this mixture and this seasoning for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, take out your carrot from your heat and let it cool down at room temperature. For my eggplant charmoula or my eggplant zaluka, cut out your eggplant, line it up in a pan, brush it with oil, sprinkle some salt on the top, grill it in your oven and flip it over time to time to avoid burning it. 
Now it's time to prepare our sharmoula. In a large pan, put two tablespoons of oil, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of black pepper, half teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of paprika, half teaspoon of garlic, and one teaspoon of hot red pepper paste with tomato paste. Bring this mixture to boil. Add two tablespoons of water to avoid burning our garlic. Whenever this mixture starts to boil, add your eggplant in it and cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Our eggplant will absorb all this seasoning and will get a nice and beautiful taste. Now in a bowl, put 200 grams of tuna, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of black pepper, two tablespoons of chopped onion, little bit of parsley, two tablespoons of vinegar, and three or four tablespoons of oil. With this seasoning, I will season my boiled potato, my string beans, and my beetroot that I boiled them one day before. Now, all my salads are ready, and it is time to put them in the serving dishes. Line up the potato salad and beetroots with string beans in the same dish. Try to make patterns and decorate it with eggs on the top. Put your green pepper salad or slapam shuia in a big plate, decorate it with eggs and olives on the top. Put your slapam shuia in a big plate, dig a hole in the center and fill it with olive oil and garnish with parsley and olives. Put your carrot charmoula in a plate and garnish it with parsley and eggs on the top. Line up your eggplant charmoula or zaloka in a beautiful plate and garnish it with parsley on the top. These side dishes or salads or appetizers are the most popular that you can find it in any Algerian house during Ramadan. I hope that I have brought you closer to our culture and introduced you to a new culture. I hope my video was helpful. Please like, share and subscribe for more. See you in the next video. Bye!